Dietary supplements are a huge international business, and some consumers might think of them as drugs. But there's a big difference. In the U.S., drugs are regulated by the Food and Drug Administration, but the agency uses a different set of rules for dietary supplements. In the end, manufacturers are responsible for policing themselves. So, is anyone checking to make sure these products are safe? There are actually a number of watchdog organizations that monitor supplements, and several of them gathered recently for a National Institutes of Health panel to talk about what they found. Dr. Todd Cooperman, founder of Consumer Labs, says his company analyzes supplements to make sure they are what they say they are. So what have we found? Well, one out of every five supplements that we've tested uh, has been found to have been of poor quality. Um, that's a little bit better than it was before. It had been one out of four. It's nudging toward one out of five. Um, herbals have the highest failure rate, 39%. Uh, vitamins and minerals, 20%. Multivitamins, higher than that, though, because they're complex. Um, other supplements, 18%. And then other nutritionals, about 25%. Cooperman says the most common problems found with supplements include little to no ingredient, too much ingredient, poor quality ingredient, and inadequate labeling. Before taking any supplement, be sure to discuss it with your health care provider. Philip Connors, Rx411 News.